Hey guys and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. You know this is a uh, project uh, that I've been meaning to do for over a year now. I've talked about it in some of my other videos. Uh, this is my old system. This is 400 watts. It is 100 watt Renogi uh, panels and I put this system up 10 years ago when I took my panels off of my cabin roof. I moved them down here to a ground mount system because this is much easier to do maintenance on. I was also changing out to uh, better panels, the Renogi panels, and I was getting better batteries because my old batteries had started to go dead. And so, like I said, this is a 400 watt system, and I set this up 10 years ago using VMAX tank AGM sealed batteries. And this system, I have done zero maintenance on, other than brushing off the snow and cleaning it off once in a while. I have done zero maintenance on this system for 10 years. Those VMAX tank batteries have been excellent, which I'll show you. Uh, and they were sealed so I could put them inside the cabin so I wasn't losing a lot of uh, battery capacity over winter, which was a real problem back then. But those batteries are now 10 years old. And they've lost quite a bit of their capacity. I'd say they're down to maybe 60% of their original capacity. That's normal. In fact, if you get over eight years off of those AGM sealed batteries, you're doing really well. Those VMAX tanks have lasted 10 years, and they could still be used, but I've lost enough capacity now that it's time to change those out. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video, because back then there was no LIFEPO4, or the lithium iron phosphate batteries. They weren't available back then. The VMAX tanks were designed during, uh, were designed during the Iraq War and Desert Storm and they were used by the military, then they released them to the public, and they were very expensive batteries, they're very heavy batteries, and, uh, but they were the best I could get at the time, and, they, and I have no complaints about those batteries, they've been absolutely excellent batteries. But now it's time to replace them, and we now have better technology and better batteries, and the battery that I'm going to be replacing those three 125 amp hour VMAX tank batteries with is a one LIFEPO4 battery, that is a 400 amp hour battery. I'll show you that when we go in the cabin, but just an explanation here. Uh, this is my old system. I also installed a new uh, 400 watt system, so now I have 800 watts total. Again, this is a 400 watt Renogi system, and I got this one as a kit uh, that came with the uh, Wanderer MPT, uh, MPPT 40 amp uh, controller that works with lithium batteries. Now, that's what I want to point out. The old controller that I used with this system, it wouldn't work with lithium batteries. It was, was designed before lithium batteries even came out. I, I got a new system that works with lithium batteries, 40 amp. I can connect all of these together now and have 800 watts going into the same system that I used to power with just 400 watts. So let me show you what the old batteries and system look like, and then I'll take you inside and I'll show you my new setup. Okay, so these are the old batteries that I'm taking off of that system. Uh, these are the VMAX tank batteries, and uh, they are 125 amp hour each. But because of the way that uh, sealed, lead acid, sealed lead acid batteries or sealed AGM batteries work, you can only draw these down to about 50% of the amp hours that are, it is rated for. So I was actually only getting about 75 amp even when these were brand new batteries, uh, because if you drain them down lower than that, you can actually do damage to the batteries. Many times, though, I drained these down practically to empty uh, over winter time because I just wasn't getting enough sunlight to keep everything charged up. But I had three of these in here hooked in parallel for a 12 volt system, and they lasted very well for running my water pump, for running my laptop computer, and for uh, running small appliances and things like that. They worked great. But the new battery that I'm going to replace them with is an EnjoyBot 400 amp hour battery, which gives me over double the capacity of these 325 amp hour batteries. Now I also used a very cheap Energizer 500 watt uh, modified sine wave inverter. And this thing has been running 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 10 years. And it's never given me a problem at all. It's only 500 watt, it was only modified sine wave. The inverter that I'm going to be replacing it with is made by WISE, that's W-E-I-Z-E. -E. It is a 1200 watt inverter, pure sine wave, so it, will, so it is safer to run some larger appliances and I'll be able to get more power out of my system. But this inverter still works really well and I'm keeping it for a backup just in case. The other part of my old system 
was this old Blue Sky MPPT power controller. Now, when these came out, Blue Sky was one of the first companies that produced a true MPPT power controller. Before that, you just had the cheap old PWM controllers, and they didn't get as much power out of your solar panels. So I got one of these and uh, hooked it up to my system, and it got about 15 to 20% more out of my solar panels than what I was getting. However, these old controllers, they're not designed for the new uh, LifePo 4 or lithium batteries. So I can't use this with the new system battery that I'm going to be using, even though this controller has been uh, working. This controller has actually been working for 15 years because I had it on my old system before I, I changed to the, the uh, 400 watt system. So it has been through a lot. But it is in pretty bad shape, and it probably, and I will probably keep it around just for a backup because I'm probably going to use these batteries, and this inverter, and this controller on another uh, system that I'm going to be setting up for a remote irrigation system on my property. So these batteries still have some life in them. The uh, controller still works after 15 years. Inverter still working after 10 years. So I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to be using them on an alternative system. But now let's go in and I'll show you what the new system looks like with the new battery, the new controller, and everything and everything, and how I have it connected in my cabin. Okay, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. I'm in my bathroom, and that's where I keep my main system battery. Uh, I've got it underneath this wardrobe cabinet here. And uh, this is the LifePo 4. This is made by EnjoyBot. It is a 400 amp hour LifePo 4. LifePo 4 stands for lithium iron phosphate batteries. These have just came out in the last few years. Uh, and a lot of us off-gooders are now switching over to these types of batteries uh, because of the capacity. Now this type of battery here, unlike those uh, sealed AGM batteries, you can use this down 100%. So you can drain this all the way to empty and recharge it and it doesn't do any damage to the batteries. They also have a very long lifetime. This battery here is rated for up to 5,000 cycles, which would be a good 10 years if you was draining it down all the way empty and recharging it every time, you would drop down maybe 80% over 10 years. However, uh, most people like me, I'm not never going to drain this all the way empty and refill it. Very rarely would I ever have to do that. I would probably use less than 50% of this battery. And so it should last anywhere from 10 to 12, maybe even 15 years. Could even last longer than that, depending on your use. Now, this is a 400 amp hour battery. I replaced those three 125 amp hour batteries. This actually gives me more than double the capacity of those old batteries. It is also a single battery and it is a lot lighter, a lot less weight than those big AGM seal batteries. Let me tell you, uh, you, it's probably about half the weight for this one single battery as it was for those 325 amp hour batteries that I replaced it with. I also replaced it with my Wise. Wise inverter. This is a 1200 watt inverter. Uh, it has four AC slots. I've got this plugged in and then it goes into my living room uh, where I have a power strip and I plug in my laptop and all my other stuff off of that. But it has three other AC outlets here. So if I want to plug in my vacuum or run any other appliances off of it that I want to run off of it, I can plug those into here. Now I've got this wired up as a 12 volt system uh, off of those older solar panels. Uh, but you can run these as a 24 volt system or a 48 volt system as long as you use the correct controller and that's what I'm going to show you next. But again that's EnjoyBot 400 amp hour battery. This has 5,120 watt hours which works out to about a little over 5 kilowatt hours of power. So for my use here I'm generally going to only use maybe 20-30% during the day. Maybe in winter if I have three or four days of low sunshine, I might use it down to 50% before the sun comes back out and I get more sunshine. So this battery here should last me probably the rest of my life. And it's going to run my uh, laptop computer. This runs my water pump. This will run my 12-volt fridges. I can run my microwave off of it. I can do everything that I need in my cab. And I can run everything, including my evaporative cooler in summer. I can run off of this one single battery right here. Makes the system a whole lot simpler to take care of. These are maintenance-free. Uh, they don't off-gas, so there's no toxic fumes or anything like that you have to worry about. You can store them right inside. This battery does come with the high temperature and low temperature sensor, but I tell people all the time, you shouldn't store batteries when it's below freezing. It's not good for the batteries, so I store mine inside the cabin where it's always going to be above freezing in my cabin. So now I'll also show you the controller that I'm using, which is made by Renogi. 
that came with that uh, 400 watt solar panel kit. Okay, so this is the Renogi uh, Wander 40 amp MPPT power controller. And these are designed to handle any types of batteries. You can use them with flooded lead acid, you can use them with the sealed AGM batteries, or you can use them with these new LifePo 4 batteries at a very reasonable price. And I got this with that 400 watt kit. Uh, the 400 watt kit came with all the wiring that I needed. It came with the connectors that I needed for the MC4 connectors. And it even comes with a, a fuse to protect your solar panels. And it comes with this really nice Renogi uh, 40 amp MPP tip controller. Now this can handle, because it's a 40 amp controller, depending on how you hook your panels up, it can handle either 12 or 24 volt, and it can handle up to 800 watts of panels. Okay, and I've got two systems of 800 watts that I'm going to be running through this. And then you can just see I've got my I've got my wires coming in from my solar panel here, and then I've got two wires that that came with this controller running down to the battery. And this has an LED lead readout on it. You're not going to be able to see it here, but this has an LED LED readout on it that tells me how many volts are in the battery. It tells me how many uh, volts are coming out of my solar panels, and allows you to adjust this for the type of batteries that you're using. That is the Renogi 400 watt kit that comes with the Wander 40 amp. I'm using the EnjoyBot 400 amp hour LifePo 4 battery, and I'm using a Wise 1200 watt inverter for everything in my cabin. That runs everything, and how I use this system is when I have excess solar power, which I do most days, uh, I use my inverter to recharge my other power stations, and I use several small power stations. I just recharge them up. Uh, then if I have a low power day, I have low sunshine, which happens in winter. A lot of times we might get three or four days of really crappy, cloudy weather that might might not produce a lot of solar power. Then I can just use my power stations as a backup until I get until the sun comes back out and I get plenty of sunshine again. A system like this is great for off-gridders. It can also be used as an alternative, a backup system for a grid-tight home. You can easily set up one of these batteries, put it in a closet or maybe in your garage or a shed, set you up 400 watts of solar panels. Uh, I would recommend that Renogi kit. Get the Wanderer uh, controller with it, get you an inverter, and you can set up a, a really great backup system, emergency power system, that you can use in the event you have a blackout at your house. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been working. I've been working on getting this system put together for a while, so I'm glad to finally get this video made. All right, folks. Have a great day.